Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back for another Eat Along. Today we're having Moe's Southwest Grill, which is located here in Port Orange, Florida. I've had this before, but I've never tried their steak tacos. So today I'm going to have a chicken taco and a steak taco. They give you a bag of chips with um, your order. And I like to get some queso dip for those. Here are the tacos. How good these guys look. This one is, this is the chicken taco. And this one must be the steak. Yes, this is the steak taco. Look how good these look. This place is excellent. This was like $8 roughly, maybe $8.50. Um, today I'm having ice water. I love to drink water because it's a win, win, win situation. You know, there's no calories. It doesn't taste like anything, so you can't say, ooh, water's gross. Because, I mean, and it, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, you can drink all of it you want without gaining any weight, except for, you know, the temporary water weight. And I bet you people that say they don't like water, if they were lost and stranded out in the desert and somebody walked up and offered them this glass of ice water, trust me, they're going to drink it. Anyway, got some. they have all kinds of sauces that you can pick from at this little bar. Um, the verde, the green, and then all sorts of um, like medium, mild, hot. This one is the, the spiciest you can get, the hottest you can get. Oh, on my tacos, I got the same thing on every one. I got lettuce, shredded cheese, um, and then this white crumbly cheese. I'm not really sure which one it is, what kind it is. I have no idea, so I'm not even going to guess. Um, let's see, lettuce, tomatoes onions, two kind of cheese. Oh, and I got some lime wedges. I think first I'm gonna start on this steak one since I've not had it before. Don't worry, I'll give you guys some too, okay? Hang on. I'll give you guys the first bite because you probably don't wanna take a bite after I take a bite. Oh, and cilantro, I got some cilantro on here too. Okay, so you guys ready? This is the steak one. Here, go ahead and get you a big old stupid bite. Munch. Okay, now my turn. I'm already getting this all over me. <laughs> That's it, you're. <laughs> you know, you guys, I've really been enjoying these past couple of years with President Trump in office because <laughs> it drives the Democrats crazy, and that in itself is very entertaining. Oh, <laughs> now with the Joe Biden talking about running for president. Give me just a second. Hang on. This beef is kind of chewy. I got to be honest. This uh, steak. I'm a little disappointed in that, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Joe Biden, he's going to have a rough time against Trump if he decides to run against him. Because you know how Trump is with these nicknames he gives people. I don't know. I don't, I don't see Trump calling him creepy Joe Biden. Because, you know, Trump, he's kind of original with these names he comes up with. 
It would be funny if he called him like Pedro Joe, <laughs> but I don't see him doing that either. But it'd be interesting to see what name he gets. You guys want to chip? Here you go. Okay, now my turn. But yeah, I wish the Democrats would work with our president because as much as Trump's already accomplished, just imagine how much more he could accomplish if he actually had them on his side. That wall would be built by now. They just don't like him personally. That's what it is. I don't know if it's his hair color, if it's his skin color. I'm not really sure what it is that they hate about him. A lot of the people that hate him now were people that used to love him before he ever became president. I don't understand. I love President Trump. And you know what? If I had a mega hat, a Make America Great Again hat, and anybody tried to pick on me for wearing that hat, ugh, I don't even want to say, I'd probably be in jail because I wouldn't have it. You're not going to snatch my hat off of my head just because you don't like our president and get away with it. <laughs> I think I'll try this. Have a bite of this chicken one. I'll give you a bite of this chicken one, too. Hang on. Mm. Go ahead and get your bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The second one is yum horrific. Yum horrific. I kind of wish I'd have gotten two of these chicken ones now. I'm glad the weekend's here. You know, um, Joe Biden with all of his touchy-feely, getting close talking and all, <laughs> he reminds me of, uh, I don't know the cartoon character's name, but remember the, 80 car the 80s cartoons where I think it was a dog that liked to pick up little kittens and he'd be like, I'm going to hold you and squeeze you and pet you and call you George. Anyway, that's what Joe Biden reminds me of. I wouldn't want him near my children if I had any. I know that. If he does that, if he does that kind of stuff, like on camera, that we see on YouTube, you know, the little montage of him touching and feeling inappropriately, kissing people's hair and smelling people's hair. Imagine if he does that in public. What he does in private when he's around little kids. That's all I'm saying. I'm not accusing him of being a pedophile, but. Wouldn't want my children around him alone. Well, even around me. He would touch him around me if he could. And I'd end up, I'd end up in jail again because I'd end up hitting him. You know, I've known touchy, feely people throughout my life. Not a lot of them, but a few. And it's never to a point where it's creepy. But him, he's another story. <laughs> I wouldn't be up there running for president if, if people were saying those types of things about me. <laughs> Trump's going to win anyway when he runs again for 2020. 
um, Joe Biden don't have a chance, but it's probably going to help Trump out if Joe Biden decides to run. You know what's really funny is uh, the fake news, how they're defending him. And those crazy ladies on the talk, I think the name of the show, you know, with Whoopi Goldberg and the others, the other crazy tags, huh? they're actually defending it. Um, the other day I was watching a clip from the talk where Whoopi says that she doesn't want Joe Biden to change because he said he would try to be more careful from now on, you know, now that he knows that it makes people uncomfortable the way he's touching. <clears throat> but they're like, I don't want him to change. And it's like, really, Whoopi, you, you want him to keep touching little girls and smelling of strangers' heads and kissing their heads? <laughs> Those ladies, I tell you what. The talk show definitely has a, a dog in this race, and this is the Democrat side. Crazy, crazy. You couldn't go to a loony bin and find a group of people crazier <laughs> than the Democrats. I don't think they're all crazy, you know. Um, I think the, the fake news has misled everybody. The people who are against Trump are only against him because the media is lies. Anyway, you know, I know he's going to win again when he runs for 2020. Um, but when, when those four years are over, that's going to be the saddest day of my life. Because, I mean, God only knows what we're going to get in there after he's done. I just hope whoever it is, they don't undo all the good that he's started and accomplished. I hope uh, you guys are not offended by me talking politics. It's something that I feel very comfortable doing. They say never talk about religion and politics, but I talk about both to anybody. And the people who get offended by it, oh well. Well, it looks like today's either one is going to be cut a little short because I'm not really into this steak taco. But if you guys decide you want it, I'll save it for you. I hope you enjoyed this eat along today. And thank you for joining me. I love all you guys, and I hope you have a really good weekend. And I'll see you when I look at you. Bye, you guys.